kilimoni nguzo kubwa kwa ujenzi wa taifa kwani kilimoni cho boresha maisha ukitaka kujua haya usipime kipimo na ukikaa na siba si utaboresha kilimo Pirika pirika, heka heka na harakati za boresha kilimo zinaendelea kukuletea makala ya kaunti ya Makueni. Ni Jumamosi nyingine marahaba tunakutana katika kipindi boresha kilimo. Hiki ni kipindi ambacho kinaangazia nyanja mbalimbali mbali za kilimo, teknolojia ibuka hali kadhalika kilimo asili. Hii leo kurunzi yetu inamulika ukulima wa papai. Popote ulipo hujambo na karibu mimi ni Laban Shaban. Papai ni tunda lenye rangi ya aina nyingi na la kuvutia. Pia lina manufaa mengi katika mwili wa mwanadamu. Hapa niliposimama ni katika shamba la papai. Ninakutana na mkulima ambaye ni msomi wa masuala ya kilimo, Dennis Nguma Muoki, ambaye anaendeleza kilimo hiki katika eneo la Mavindini, eneo bunge la Makueni, kaunti ya Makueni. wa Dennis Nguma Mwoki mimi ni mwanafunzi nafanya masters in agriculture and applied economics University of Nairobi na niko na bachelor's degree in agricultural economics from Ijaton University na mimi ni mwanarika I'm 28 years old na eh, my passion ni kilimo so mmenipata tu mali nasikia tu niko poa Mkulima Dennis Mwaki ni mwanafunzi wa shahada ya uzamili katika kilimo na uchumi katika chuo kikuu cha Nairobi. Anajihusisha na kilimo cha papai huko Makueni. Mradi huu ulianza kutokana naye kupenda kilimo. Nimelelewa huko Makueni na wazazi wangu wamekuwa pia apart from wako in other profession wamekuwa wakilima. Eh, Eh, but ni ile kilimo cha maembe sana sana huku makweni kuna julikana kwa maembe so mi nikaona ni, ni, ni on my discourse tu nika ingia kwa youtube nikaangalia famine ya israel ju nasikianga israel sana sana wako so prominent in famine so ndio nikaona hii mambo na popo famine and now wame introduce zile zinaitwa hybrid So nikakuwa interested nikaangalia the characteristics nikaona ni papaya ambazo zinaweza kuletea returns within a short period of time na kuna challenges ambao farmers walikuwa wana face nikaona sasa hizi new breed ziko na resistance to hizo diseases and pests so eh, time covid ilikuja tulikuwa tumemaliza coursework sasa tukaambiwa tu, tuende home the universities were closed so tukakuja huko home so nikaji keep busy na nikasema sasa hiyo time ndio nita implement hii story nilikuwa naona so i visited an agrovet wakaenda nikapata wako na hizo seeds nikanunua nikakuja nika zirease Dennis alikuwa akiona familia yake na majirani wakipanda miembe lakini mipapai na matunda ya passion ama karakara yalikuwa bado hayajaanza kupandwa. Pengo hili lilimpa shauku ya kujitosa katika kilimo cha mipapai kwani haikuwa imefika sokoni. Una zisok kwa maji for five days na kila siku hiyo maji una unaibadilisha. Juizi seeds zinakuwa zikokoted na mapest na mafagicide so inabidi uchange hiyo maji kila siku ndio zisikuwe corroded na hizi chemicals zenye zilikuwa zimekotiwa nazo so after the five days unachukua mchanga yenye iko loose especially 
uh, like uh, like uh, sand soil sand soil ina kuwa poa sana juu inashika maji na pia iko loose so ako ka seed ka kianza kuchipuka it takes uh, a shorter period kanatoka kwa haraka once ime, ime sprout out hiyo hiyo si, seedling unachukua zile kuna zile karatasi za za black hizo unaenda mali kuna company zenye sasa zimeruhusiwa unajua karatasi zilikuwa banned so make sure ukibai una buy ile paper iko na stamp yenye imekutengenezwa ime specifically for wenye wako na nursery so unaziweka hapo then unaendelea kunyunyizia maji eh, until inakuwa almost one foot ikiwa one foot ndio unaweza peleka sasa kwa kwa shamba juu kipeleka kakiwa kadogo kataweza kosa kuvumilia the conditions zenye ziko kwa shamba so unapeleka after 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 like 2 to 3 months inakuwa imetoshea one foot so once you transplant it within other three months inaanza kutoa maua juu ni zile hybrid within six months it flowers and once you see the first flowers unaipea other three months then you can harvest your fruit so ukiongeza ukiongeza hiyo period yote unapata it's like 9 to 12 months you have your fruits ready mea wa mipapai hukua vizuri kwenye udongo usio tuamisha maji yenye thamani ya pH ama kiwango cha tindikali cha 5.5 hadi 7.0 inahitaji hali ya hewa ya joto kwa ukuaji na mwinuko chini ya mita 2100 juu ya usawa wa bahari na mvua ya kila mwaka ya karibu milimita 1000 ambayo inasambaa vizuri Mkulima anaweza kuamua kutengeneza shamba lake mwenyewe ili aweze kupanda miche moja kwa moja shambani kwa kiwango cha mbegu nne kwa kila shimo kabla ya kuzipunguza hadi moja kwa kila shimo zinapofikia urefu wa sentimita kumi hadi 15. Mea huu ufanya vizuri katika shamba lenye udongo ambao unaweza kushika maji kama vile loam soil na sandy soil yani mchanga wenye rutuba na ule wa changarawe. Mkulima pia anafaa kuweka matandazo yani mulching kwenye shamba lake kuwezesha mmea kukoma. Kuna vitu tulikuwa tunasoma tu kwa agriculture ile basic agriculture mambo na mulching. Watu wengi unapatanga hiyo kitu I click kwa mind it is still applies practically si yati ni kwa theory tu pekee. So eh atukiangalia farm hii farm iko na unaweza ni kama iko na uchafu but that is now vile shamba inapaswa kuwa inapaswa kuwa na a cover yeah one thing yeah. mchanga eh, unaichukua like an, a living organism so you have to take good care of it ukiache ikiwa bare unapata sun rays zina heat worms wenye earthworms wenye wanasaidia kuaerate the soil wana, wanakufa so unapata the rooting system ya plant iko na iko na shida i penetrate vile inapaswa ku penetrate but once you, you you cover your soil with mulch then unatumia easy drip ju drip drip advantage ya drip ni vile mmea unapata maji equally kila mmea so utapata kuna yenye advantage na yenye disadvantaged then ni at that at the root point peke so si ile maji ingine vile watu wanamwagianga tu unnecessarily so hiyo ni njia ya ku kutumia hiyo maji vizuri Umuhimu wa mulching ni kama vile kuhifadhi unyevu wa udongo, kuboresha rutuba na afya ya udongo, kupunguza ukuaji wa magugu na pia kuongeza mvuto shambani. Tunatumia maji ya maji, maji ya, ya, ya mvua but harvested water, harvested rain water. Tuko na tuko na dam yenye farm pond let me call it a farm pond yenye tulitengeneza then tuna harvest hiyo maji yenye inapitia run off hiyo ya barabara tumechimba mtaro inaingia kwa hiyo dam so wakati mvua imenyesha vizuri tunakuwa sure during the dry spell tutakuwa tutakuwa tunaweza manage kuota our plants but when mvua imekuwa hivi hivi tunajipanga 
tununue maji we tuko na tanks tumenunua uh, we have uh, 310000 liter tanks so hiyo ni 30000 sasa hiyo tukinyunyizia hii mimea yote iko hapa it only takes two times sasa hiyo ni like in 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 in, in a fortnight that is two weeks two weeks unaweka unaweka mtungi moja hiyo inakuwa enough both for the papai is na passion fruit tunda la papai lina ladha tamu na muundo laini ambao wengi huona kuwavutia lakini sio wengi wanajua umuhimu wa tunda hili tunda hili linasaidia kupunguza hatari ya magonjwa ya moyo kisukari saratani kusaidia usagaji wa chakula kuboresha udhibiti wa sukari kwenye damu kwa watu wenye kisukari kupunguza shinikizo la damu na kuboresha uponyaji wa jeraha. Papaya eh, okay kuna yenye moja ni fama kujitakia like birds. Birds ukikosa kuharvest matunda na ikue ripe. Hiyo birds watakuja wataanza kukula. So hiyo ni best moja. But hiyo ni mtu kujitakia juu tunda ipasi kuiva kabla hujaichuna kwa mmea. Then zile sasa zingine zenye lazima utafute eh, pests eh, ama njia ya ku control kuna moja inakuwa so prevalent during the eh, the wet season yani rain season hiyo zinaitwa millibugs vitu zinakaanga za white tv zinashika matunda na pia matawi so hiyo eh, pia kuna kuna dawa tu specific ya ku control and once you use it in the right way it works then during the dry season kuna red spider mites. Wanakuwa tu wana ni tu spider tudogo tu tu red. Tunakuwa underneath the surface ya the 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 the, the leaves. So one, one way kujua hiyo juu tunakuwa tudogo unaweza kosa ku notice. The moment umeona the 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 the, the leaf inaanza ku turn brown badala ya kukua yellow. Then unajua hapo kuna infestation ya red spider mite na zinakuwa underman sana so as a farmer unapaswa kuwa proactive uangalie kama hizo nini zimeingia kwa shamba yako ndio upate you, you control them ndio zisije zika 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 ku waste you most of the people wame lose farm zao juu ya ku overlook hizo hizo mapest yeah so those are just the two main pests zenye zinasumbua sana papai the, uh, on side ya diseases kuna yenye inaitwa anthracnos but hiyo hiyo si common sana huku inakuwa common mali kuna baridi huku ikwangi common sana juu kama ni ku control hizo fang, fungi we just use the the the, the normal fungicides una una spray to maybe in the in the rainy season but in the dry season ainanga shida sana magonjwa mengine ya kawaida yanayoshambulia papai ni kama vile black rot black spot, powdery mildew, stem rot. Dalili za kawaida kwa mpapai unaoshambuliwa na wadudu ni majani yaliyotafunwa, kupotea kwa majani na kuwa rangi ya njano. Wadudu na magonjwa haya yanaweza kudhibitiwa kwa kutumia dawa kama vile metalaxyl, bentazone, copper oxychloride, aluminium phosphide. Kabla ya mkulima kutumia dawa yoyote kutibu mimea yake, anafaa kutembelea Agrovet ili apate kununua dawa sahihi ya kutumia. Hii itamfanya mkulima aepuke kutumia dawa zisizo sahihi ambazo zinaweza kuharibu ukuaji wa mimea. Pia anaweza kutafuta ushauri wa kitaalamu kutoka kwa wataalamu ambao wana ujuzi wa kupanda mipapai. Unaendelea kutazama boresha kilimo kipindi ambacho tunaamini kitastawisha kilimo humo nchini na tunatumia kaunti ya Makueni katika eneo ambalo linakaa kama limekauka watu wanaona hapa amna kilimo lakini unaona hali ilivyo wakulima wanajiza titi kwa sasa tunachukua pumziko fupi tukirejea ni mengi zaidi usiondoke hapo ulipo